you know how we said at the top of the show that Donald Trump might be the most business friendly president in decades because he's working to get Chinese online seller Alibaba to push U.S. fruit and wine to their 100 million customers? Well, just as Trump giveth, he can take it away, maybe even when it comes to AT&T's interest in buying Time Warner. I want you to look at this chart. See the dot in the middle? That's precisely when Charlie Gasparino broke some news about Time Warner and whether Donald Trump might be working behind the scenes to maybe get more information to impede right. AT&T from buying it. I, here's what I want to say. I, I don't want to um, suggest that he's made up his mind, because from what I understand, and there was a report out in Bloomberg that he's telling people he's against it, I don't believe that's accurate. Here's what we know, which means he may be against it, because the evidence in, from the internal for what's going on internally is starting to build that Donald Trump is trying to make a case essentially to block this deal. Why would he want to block this deal? Well, you know, remember, Time Warner owns CNN. CNN was really, really bad to him during the campaign. They were very critical of what he of, of his campaign of his campaign during the primaries and during the presidential campaign. He has said in the past that he believes that uh, that combining CNN with AT&T would be con too much concentration of power. Uh, whether that's real or not is it's up to the, the viewer to decide. But clearly, this is something that he doesn't like. C the, we do know he doesn't like CNN. So here's what he's done. We we understand we have this from sources close to the Trump transition that he is asking advisors to review the Time Warner deal. He's asking advisors, and this is why the stock is down following our reporting, he's asking advisors to cite reasons why he should oppose the deal. So it's clear that he's making a case, at least as of right now, to oppose the deal. We should point out that at least two advisors that are, you know, right there, right with him, are against this deal. Steve Bannon, a name that we've, uh, his, I guess, senior counselor. Right, who runs, and, who runs Breitbart, uh, uh, arguably a competitive ran, news site with who, CNN. Who ran Breitbart, and you're right. Who, and someone who may want to get Breitbart TV going and put that on the C, on the AT&T pipes and feels that he's that this would impede that effort. Uh, but Reince Priebus, uh, his chief of staff, the former head of the RNC, from what I understand, is also against the deal. Uh, as we said, he, Donald Trump has critiqued this deal as too much of a concentration of power. He's also said that he doesn't like CNN. Another person that's in his ear on this thing is Chris Ruddy, the head of Newsmax, who's also had his issues with AT&T putting Newsmax How TV on How does this come off to somebody like you who's covered mergers and acquisitions over the years? It, you know, I look at this and I think if, if President Obama somehow prevented News Corporation or Fox or Rupert Murdoch, who of course runs our company, right. from making some kind of uh, acquisition, uh, the Donald Trumps of the world would be screaming, correct? Uh, there would be there would be an issue, and uh, because you would think that someone who's coming in, uh, who considers himself pro business, would allow a deal like this to go through. Um, but there's also a, listen, I, I spoke with Chris Ruddy about this a few times, the head of Newsmax. He does make a conservative case against this deal, a, a business case against this deal, free market case against this deal, that. AT&T is so big, they will control 25% of the distribution of programming. And that, and, the, and through that, they essentially have somewhat of a monopoly where, where they will, uh, they could squeeze out people like himself. Uh, whether that's true or not, I don't know. Listen, I read the Wall Street Journal editorial pages. They think that, you know, having owning pipes, there's a lot of access. There's a lot of, there's going to be a lot of access through technology that impeding deals like this only hurts the economy and that there's technology brewing where uh, there will be other carriers that you could go through where you don't necessarily need AT&T's pipes, which is, which is wireless. You know, they have the whole thing, wireless cable, you name it. Uh, so there, there you go. There's the two, there's the well, two when, arguments. When Comcast bought Universal, NBC Universal, right. uh, they had to put some promises in place that said you wouldn't squeeze out the Bloombergs and the Fox businesses of the world right. simply because they were then going to own CNBC. Right, and they did. did I don't. Did, right. uh, there are rules in place. Right. That's what I'm saying. I mean, um, to, to impede like this, some people would look at it as the long arm of listen, government if, extending into if, business and capitalism. If, if Donald, yes, and if Donald does, Donald Trump, president like Donald Trump does this. You know, people are going to say, okay, do you really, there's going to be an economic argument. They're going to say, are you really against this deal because of, uh, because of the, the economics, consumer. the consumer, or are you against this because you hate CNN? 
which Time Warner owns, yeah. and they were they were critical of you. I mean, that former's really, okay if there's an economics and right. a consumer protection issue. We okay. should point out that Trump has not since the election. Yeah, come he hasn't out. done anything. He's he's during the election he was against. He said it might block it. Since the election, he hasn't said anything. But here's what's brewing internally. I'm giving you what's going on. Well, the stock is down eight, uh, about a percent since yeah, your report yes, that yes. hit at about 12:30. Yes, you're right. Charlie, yeah. thank you very much. And we updated it here, so with new information.